Well, another day of unsettling testimony at Spokane's federal courthouse as the trial for Craig Morgenstern continues. The former VA doctor facing 35 counts of child sexual assault and pornography. And today, the jury was shown dozens of photos and videos allegedly made by Morgenstern. KXY 4's Alyssa Donovan is working for you. And Alyssa, you say the jury visibly upset to see some of those images and clips. Well, that's right, Nadine. And not all of the images were pornographic, but still upsetting. Some featuring young boys without their shirts on, lying in hotel rooms, bed, room beds, appearing to be unconscious. Now, today we did learn the youngest victim was seven years old. Now, several jurors had to look away during some of these pornographic videos shown today in court. The digital record on these photos show they were taken by cameras owned by Morgan Stern. They also show the dates they were uploaded on hard drives. The prosecutor focused on the backgrounds of the pictures, working to tie Morgan Stern and the victims to the locations where these crimes allegedly occurred. The prosecutor says not only do the videos and images prove Morgan Stern's whereabouts on the dates of the alleged abuse, but so do his financial records, which showed he purchased flights and hotel rooms in the cities where victims say they were abused. Specifically, prosecution showed that Morgan Stern bought a plane ticket for one of his victims to fly here to Spokane just to engage in sexual acts. That victim along with the five others appeared in images and videos on hard drives. Both Morgan Stern and his victims faces appear in the images. Prosecutors say Morgan Stern gained the trust of the children by befriending their families. He would then invite the child to his home where he had video games, movies and top of the line entertainment systems. Now, this trial was expected to take about two and a half weeks, but because the prosecution has been so efficient, it looks like we could see a verdict in this case as early as early next week. Now, if convicted of even one count of sexual of aggravated sexual abuse of a child, Morganston is looking at life in prison. Reporting on the Skydeck, Alyssa Donovan, KXLY4 News.